Good afternoon. Today is Thursday, December 1st, 2016. I'm Logan Moore. Fires around Gatlinburg, Tennessee has killed seven people. We've got the details. And I'm Gwena Murphy. Did our ancestors swing from trees? Looks like they may have. Your CSN News starts now. Senior project presentations will be December 5th, 6th, and 7th. Your time has been scheduled and can be viewed in the 600 building. If there are any academic or extracurricular conflicts, please see Mr. Shazar in room 676. Open, play, wait, open auditions for the spring play, you can't take it with you, will be Thursday, December 8th at 3 p.m. Please prepare a one-minute comedic monologue. Seniors, tomorrow, Friday, December 2nd, is the last chance to order your graduation supplies in person with Harf Jones rep during lunch in the cafeteria. If you don't get it done by this Friday, you will need to order online, so make arrangements accordingly. Looking for ways to pay for post-secondary education? Unsure how to complete the FAFSA? Need help finding scholarship opportunities? We'll be having another FAFSA night on Wednesday, December 7th from 5 to 7 p.m. in the library. Spanish and English help will be available. The Salvation Army Angel Tree is up in the library. Please share the magic of Christmas with a child. Bring an unwrapped toy to the library no later than de December 14th. All students interested in playing in tennis this spring, please come to a meeting in the cafeteria on Thursday, December 8th at 7 p.m. We'll be talking about fundraising, tournaments, and uniforms. We look forward to seeing you there. Contact Lloyd or Leslie with any questions. This Saturday is our annual NHS Christmas Bazaar in the cafeteria from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. There are over 40 vendors scheduled. Come and get your Christmas shopping done and support our booster club. The dodgeball tournament starts this Friday during lunch. Help us earn money for United Way. Come watch and cheer. We'll be right back after this. Are you looking to play a sport and not get cut? Then rugby is the sport for you. Preseason workouts are going on now at the practice fields behind the football stadium at Nampa High on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.30 to 4.30. Questions? Talk to Mr. Buckridge at NHS room number 672 or email him at jbuckridge at nsd131.com. Rugby, if you show up, we will find you a position. We look forward to seeing you at practice. Come learn the warrior way. See you there. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Kelly. Your smile is your first impression, so make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is a high of 41 with a low of 31. Tomorrow's a high of 45 with a low of 32. Back to you, Gwena. Thank you. The death toll from raging wildfires around Gatlinburg, Tennessee has climbed to seven after authorities recovered three more bodies at a residence, officials say Wednesday. Authorities are working to identify all vi victims and will notify their families as soon as possible. Severe County Lair Mayor Larry Walter, Waters said, he said he thinks that the three latest victims were adults. Several others are said to be missing after blazes scorched roughly 15,000 acres in a resort-heavy area of eastern Tennessee, which showed, showered residents with embers and forced tourists to evacuate from their accommodations. More than 700 buildings were either damaged or destroyed in Sevier County and the Gatlinburg city limits. The fires are spread with little warning Monday from the Great Smoky Mountains into inhabited areas in and near Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. Forge. 53 people were injured. Many of them have been released from the hospital. Researchers who say that they showed the pre-human Lucy died falling from a tree now say, say they've shown she's probably lived up there or at least spent a lot of time in trees. Bone scans show Lucy, who died 3.2 million years ago, had thick, strong upper arms compared to her thigh bones. The same pattern seen in chimpanzees as compared to human, modern humans or even later human ancestors. While Lucy clearly walked upright on the ground, the evidence points to a creature who also climbed, hung, and hoisted herself about in the trees. The team at John Hopkins University and the University of Texas at Austin reported Wednesday. The SAT word of the day is dictate, which means say or read aloud for another to transcribe for a machine to record set as a rule. You could use it this way. The speaker urged his audience of young people not to let material considerations alone dictate their career choices. Thanks for watching, and remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix, fix it. it. 